guys welcome back to my channel so i thought i'd just get into the groove of things and get back to cooking videos and of course i have my lovely mother here to <laughs> teach us how to including myself because i don't know how to make biryani first of all this is like my mom's supreme dish everyone who comes <laughs> just enjoys it loves it talks about it biryani has got a very special um place in my heart but there was a time it used to be mysterious i began to get curious about it I discovered there's nothing difficult about it yeah so we're just going to take you guys through the process and yeah i mean we have our ingredients chopped up so let's get into the cooking we'll measure probably a teaspoon mm -hmm. of oil because the chicken is already marinated in some oil let's make it two actually Ooh. The oil is healthy, heart friendly, that's what they say. <laughs> what I have here is a marinated chicken, which has been marinating for the last 24 hours. What is inside is the coconut cream, garam masala, chicken masala, chili, pepper, turmeric. Yeah, all I those think nice it's spices. The same spices that we're gonna use. Yeah, and also the garlic and the mm. ginger. Yep. It's all in here for 24 hours. So you can imagine how it will be tasting after oh after God, we are I done. Can't wait. Yes. Now we can get into the process. Okay, but can you put in the onions? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are like uh, two big onions. So do you usually brown the onions or like how long should we cook them for? Yeah, we'll need to cook them like for around a couple of minutes until it, it begins to brown. Then we shall also put in the garlic as well. Okay, now it's frying nicely, it's getting cooked. We are getting into the next process. I'm just so ready to throw in the spices. <laughs> I'm just like, ah. <laughs> Yeah, I think Bahati, you can do the honors. Oh, is it spices time? Yeah, spicy Yay. time. Yes! <laughs> it's a lot of spices, you guys. <laughs> what? I think now we are ready to put in the, uh, the frozen tomatoes. So you remove the skin and just break it apart, either with your hands, I think it's easier with your hands. Yeah. And then now put it in into the pan. Woo! Nice, nice, nice. I think we leave the spices. We also want to add maybe some tomato paste. Can oh. you get from the... Yeah. By the way, tomato paste is the best. It's better than even using fresh tomatoes. It's a bit strong, but it is very, it is better. Just one tablespoon. This? So like how many of these? Two heaps of that. Yeah. We are going to add salt. And we are also going to add some uh, cardamoms as well. And we are also going to add a cinnamon stick. You know, my problem, um, I'm not much of a stickler of, um, going by the book yeah <laughs> she was i just go with my taste instincts my <laughs> eyes <laughs> yeah so you just leave that to cook some salt that is about uh, is what uh, a tablespoon yeah a teaspoon. a teaspoon yes we'll keep adding the salt as we go along uh bahati please pass the bay leaf uh, bay leaf so it'll probably this should be enough Okay, so we leave that to cook. I think we have everything in here. It smells so good. We're going to put in the, the coconut cream. So now we leave that for five minutes to cook on moderate heat. The chicken's about to go in. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna put uh, like two of this. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna put some uh, mint. Mm. I love mint. Like this? Yeah. That's Ooh. enough. Let's mix Ooh. it in really well. Now the chicken is ready to get it. So here goes the chicken. Ooh. Oh, that looks good. These are some good pieces. Very nice pieces. Ah, Bahati, do the honors. Mix everything inside. Make sure every piece gets that nice coating. Now this will cook now for the next 30 minutes. So you're not going to add water or anything? Maybe we'll just put a little bit mm -hmm. so that it doesn't stick. Yeah. But otherwise it should cook in its own juices. We're going to leave it for 30 minutes. Notes. 
on low heat for the next 35 minutes. So around 15 minutes, come and stir the chicken again. Make sure everything is getting well mixed up. All right, we'll be back after like 30 minutes. 30 minutes later. Oh, yeah. I can smell the coconut for you, sure. You can, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Coconut really, really makes a difference. Okay, so I think the chicken is ready now. Yeah, we're gonna transfer this to the bowl. I'm trying to save the liquid because that liquid, this is the one which will also form the base. Oh, also you added potatoes. When did yes. you add these? Within the cooking process, uh, just like 10 minutes mm -hmm. before chicken was done. So what we are gonna do now, we are going to color the rice. The rice. So what okay. we're doing is we're making some food color. So I, I'm pouring some just a bit of hot water, just enough to color the rice. So the next process is we are going to transfer some of the rice. Yeah, it should be cold rice. And then we we'll just try and break it up. So this is how we color the rice. Ooh. And the other way we can do it, which is originally the way it's supposed to be done, is using saffron. Okay. But sometimes it's so difficult to get that you end up using food color. And it's expensive. Yeah, it is very expensive. Yeah, just, just keep mixing. You don't the yellowness to overpower so there's a lot of uh, sauce that's left after the chicken has been done and you want to save it to make the gravy and just leave just enough just to cover the sufuria i'm just trying to create a base so that the rice doesn't burn also water so yeah i'm just gonna put a bit of water and already reduce the heat to the minimum again i'm breaking the law i'm breaking the biryani law i'm just going to use a plain rice mm -hmm. to just put it right at the bottom because what happens the, the color so by the time you're serving mm -hmm. you don't even know and you guys this is our method don't yeah. come for us like <laughs> Wait, this is how we like it. If this is the Mongoji try... way of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so you just spread out your base. Uh, we are ready now to layer. This is the real biryani. This is what... This is what biryani is about. This is now what it is about. Okay, why don't we start with the potatoes? The ones which were pre-cooked. Let's put in our chicken. Just spread them out, yeah? So that every spoonful comes out with the chicken. And I scooped off a little bit of oil, yeah? This is another Mwangoji secret. Yeah, we're just gonna sprinkle just a little bit. So this is from the biryani that we cooked? Oil. Yeah, You just yeah. scooped out the oil? I just scooped the, the, the oil oh. as it was cooking. So that gives it flavor. And as we are layering, we'll also layer the meat. Yes. And then, can you now layer? Just make sure you have covered the, the, all the chicken. Eh? See, the rice is good at absorbing eh? the oil. So there we have it. Okay, so oh, we're gonna it? do another layer. So this is a meal actually for probably about eight people. Yeah, I was gonna say this is a party dish. Yes, this is a party dish. Would it even cover it? Yeah, it will cover. Even if there are pips of chicken. <laughs> it's <laughs> it like, looks it's like, like a, a, it's a tease. Yeah, it's a tease. Oh. <laughs> steam. Yeah, yeah, now we will leave it to steam and just get the heat. Yeah. Okay, so we leave that to cook. Heat what, up for that? another 20 minutes at very low heat. Very, very low. Now we're on the final stretch. We are gonna do the biryani gravy. And I think a lot of you don't realize that there is a gravy that goes with the biryani. And it's very simple. Um, I'll take you back to the sauce that I was taking. And it is this one. This is what we scooped out. Okay, so let's uh, get on with the, making the gravy. It's very simple, like I've just told you. Mix a bit of water and made some stock out of this. Mm -hmm. Just to thicken it a little bit, we are going to use corn flour. So you just put this. in another five minutes we are all done in the meantime our biryani is looking is looking wow huh? now we just need to sprinkle a bit of uh, dania should just in another five minutes we are all done so this is it biryani recipe complete um it is a process but it is so worth it anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a thing or two 
I'll definitely link the recipe below on, on my blog. If you like the video, of course, you have to thumbs up and subscribe. Just hold on one minute. We have just forgotten just to add one more thing. What? <laughs> what can biryani be without? We need kachumbari, We guys. need a kachumbari. <laughs> this is uh, the Mongodi Kitchen. Thank okay. you for your company. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us. Yeah. And we will see you guys in our next video. I'll definitely get my mom back on <laughs> one of these days. <laughs> this has been fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys. Yeah. Bye. Good night.